So we'll continue to engage. And uh, there are flaws also to think that tactically, when you go with people you characterize, quote unquote, as close to you in terms of left, and those is EFF and Zuma party, uh, you are safe. It is, uh, it is debatable. It's debatable. We can't be forced into that. We can't uh, be forced into that. Let's debate it. And uh, it belongs to the political council. It will be wrong for the ANC and uh, our allies to communicate to the rest of South Africa that howling at each other is the right thing to do in 2024. When we engage, we meet together. All what it does is to show South Africa how disorganized we are. That's all what it says. It does not deepen. It does not deepen a hegemony of the progressive forces. That the general secretary of the Communist Party have told the whole world that ANC is a sellout party. That statement will remain with the people. Whatever we do in the GNU, whether we succeed or not, it will be referred to by opportunists and uh, ideological pushovers and so on, that that statement was basically correct when it is not correct. We need to be told what is the sellout position because we invited all parties, GNUs and coalition governments in the deepest Oxford Dictionary definition are actually constituted by political rival parties who necessarily don't agree ideologically. Go to Europe, everywhere else, close to home in Zimbabwe. Changirai and President Mugabe, may they too rest in peace, constituted the GNU, which lasted for five years. And ZANU-PF came back and won election outright, and GNU was done away with. It happened. Next door. GNU, Government of National Unity. Prime Minister was Changirai in the government of President Mugabe. Here in South Africa, we don't have a prime minister, we don't have a deputy president, we just have parties with positions in government. That's it. And majority of these positions in government are occupied in respect of the outcome of the election by the largest parties, not a favor that is made to the ANC. But the ANC have became respectful and true to the statement of intent that when parties come together, it's not for the convenience of it, are parties who genuinely want to move South Africa forward. We want employment to be done away with. We want to work together for redress because when there is economic growth, there will be stability, there will be jobs created and all of that. And uh, working with the private sector and so on, uh, we will be able to move South Africa forward. And that is what is important for, for our country. Otherwise, if we had won elections overwhelmingly, we will not have DA in the GNU. We will not have DA in the GNU. And GNU can still continue and will continue without the DA. But if the DA choose to be part of the GNU and participate constructively uh, in terms of stability of the country and commit to the statement of intent that we all agree to, they, they participate, and, and that is it. And what is, what is that? Constitutional democracy, the rule of law, redress, economic growth, job creation for our people. That's what is important. So we have said that coalitions and government of national unity across the globe are formed by rival parties who don't agree even on ideology across the globe. They are not constituted by like-minded people. They are not. It doesn't mean if we had the people that quote-unquote characterize as close to us, there will be no rivalry there. There will be. And uh, the subjective analysis from his part that if we had incorporated these people, the NDR is not under threat. It's incorrect. What is important is what do you do with your 40%? in the GNU to defend and safeguard power. That's what we've done. That's what we've done. So the, 
the issue that has been raised about uh, a sellout position must be accompanied by empirical evidence that the ANC in the GNU, because of the DA, it has succumbed to the following. And they have actually <coughs> thrown historical positions and its policies out of the window in favor of the DA. To date, we don't have that. We don't have that. We don't have that. So the, the over-exaggeration and uh, accentuation that the DA and the DA being part of the GNU on the part of the ANC is a sellout position, it's incorrect. In that way, we are bringing everybody along in terms of the dialogue. So that's how we, we understand it. MK Party, we are not promoting what is not ours. They've stolen stuff from us. If somebody steals your shoes and then you tell the police, come this direction, they are going to say, you go to the police station. Will it be a waste of time when you claim what is rightfully yours? It's not. I might be oversimplifying it. They've taken umkonto Sizwe, our symbols, and they go with them. And uh, we can't allow that. When Jacob Zuma speaks about that party of his, he does not refer to his own history. He talks about the history of liberation struggle and of Mkonto Wesizwe. And that Mkonto Wesizwe is right at the center of our liberation struggle in the ANC. What will we say to generations to come that we allowed uh, one former president to just steal we will chase this thing up until the apex court. We will. There will be no retreat on that. Rest assured. Uh, because that rightfully belongs to the ANC. Zuma has, has got a name in society for himself. At least he's got support now. Why is he not having a party called it Zuma Maibuwe? <laughs> Something like that. I mean, why, why is he taking our stuff? We are, I mean, he's got a name for himself. He can prove at least support. We have one. Unlike people who speak from outside, they've never tested their support. He's got support. Magabe ne party yaga ibiza ZM Zuma maibu we party. We have one. That will be fine. The ANC will never go there. Will never go there. We, we, you call it umkondo wesizwe. That is our heritage. We will fight for it.